Blackfoot Communications is actively supporting the communities we serve across Montana and Idaho. We are installing hundreds of miles of fiber in our service territories, increasing the broadband experience in our rural communities. We are delivering remote workforce solutions for our business communities. We are creating new, innovative solutions for our local entrepreneurs and enterprise organizations. Learn how your company can benefit. Call today at 541-5000 or go to blackfootbusiness.com. Blackfoot Communications. Connect to more. All right. Hey, Mike. Uh, first, congrats, congrats on the win. Um, I'm, I'm just wondering, uh, you know, just kind of coming off the bench and, and uh, you know, having that big game, what do you think was the key for you? Uh, just just staying with it. Um, I got to stay solid and keep grinding all year. It's a new level for me. So I just I know my time is coming, so I just got to stay with it and keep grinding. Um, you know, I think it was, uh, I think coming out of the under four timeout, uh, you hit that three pointer. Um, just what do you, what do you remember about that play? Uh, just knowing, just knowing JB, one of the best bigs out here. So when he get the ball, there's a lot of double teams a lot. So I just got to find the open, open space and knock the shot down. At, at what point did you feel like you were, you know, you were kind of in a groove tonight? Uh, and, and from, in warmups, I mean, I've been grinding these past two weeks in practice, off the court, everything. So I just know. It's coming at some point, so I just got to keep going. What was, what was the key, you know, in, like I said, in those last, like, four minutes, um, what was the difference for you guys? Uh, we just had to be the more solid and more smarter team. Don't turn the ball over, rebound, and, and we'll get the win when we do stuff like that. To, to get a win like that in, in, a, in a close game, um, what do you think it says about the team as you guys continue going through conference play? I think it says a lot about our heart and our togetherness. Like, we stay together. Off the court and on the court, we're a close team. So that says a lot about us, that we're going to stay together and, and play all 40 minutes. Each each time out, uh, kind of as the second half was going, was there anything you guys were talking about in particular? Just box out and rebound. They're a good, re they good offensive rebounding team. So we need to box out, get the ball, and the game is ours when we do that. Um, and uh, I guess just, just you and Borja both coming off the bench, um, just kind of how big was that, you know, kind of, you know, that, that you guys can come off the bench no matter, you know, it doesn't matter if you start or not. How big was that? Uh, I mean, like I said, we close, we a close group, so we don't, we don't care who, who get the shine at any, any night. We just ready to play at all times. I guess uh, to come out with a, a win like that, uh, you know, in a pretty, pretty close game, just kind of what, what do you think was the key down the stretch? Uh, just sticking together, staying with it, rebounding, getting stops. And just facing adversity, you know, when adversity comes, like they want to run, we just got to like stay disciplined and keep doing what we do best, which is score and rebound, keeping them to one shot. That's what helped us down the stretch. What, why do you think you got good, um, you know, especially the last couple games, uh, you know, late specifically? You said what? Why do you think you guys have been good late in the game? Oh, we, you know, we have uh, veterans, guys that's been at this level, and we just do our best to, you know, make the right decisions. Because when it gets down to the last four minutes, each possession is important. So we just got to help everyone know what to do, like what the best thing is to do when the time is getting uh, short and when the game is near to an end. Um, I think it was coming out of that under four timeout, uh, you hit – you hit Mike, uh, you know, for the pass for the three. Um, yeah. what, do you, what do you remember about that play? Uh, the whole game, you know, I kept spinning to the baseline. And they had help there. So the help was coming from that side. So we had, like, Scott before the game, look back side because it's always open. They're coming from, from down low. So I, I went baseline first to make my defender think I was going baseline. And I knew Mike was going to be open. So... I just knew that pass was going to be there because it's been there throughout the whole game. How, how big? How big was Mike for you guys tonight? Well, Mike was incredible, man. Like he really helps. He really stepped up for us, and that's the thing with this team. Like it could be anyone's night. It's never just one person's night. So like we have so many weapons, and like I just feel great to be a part of a team like this. Mm -hmm. um, I guess. Uh... What, what does it say about the team to get to get a win, uh, you know, this way and, and, you know, stay undefeated in conference? You know what? Well, we're just trying to grind it out, take one game at a time, 
we're not worried about being undefeated. We're just trying to take one game at a time, do what we do best. Um, great. I think uh, I think those are all my questions. I don't know. If... Yeah. All right. That's it. I think that's Hi, uh, I'm Bo. I'm, I'm from the Exponent at MSU. Uh, I just had a couple of questions. Um, firstly, uh, good job tonight. You, uh, you did an awesome job. Those are some pretty sick plays you had there. Um, but I was curious, you know, after tonight's game, what you plan on doing differently for, for Saturday when you uh, play them again? Uh, well, we need to watch film first, look at our mistakes, and fix – fix the things that we did wrong and you know we don't need to change anything up exactly but we just come more with more come with the same energy but more intense um sorry i just kind of ran back from um i think that's oh, shit. yeah <clears throat> um so what do you think, you know, it was kind of quiet at the bench at certain points tonight. I mean, the energy kind of like dipped up and down. Is, you know, is it, would you say a lot of that is coming from uh, the lack of the crowd or kind of that uh, lack of? Uh, I would say so. You know, we miss our fans. The f our fans give us great energy. And like, we we're so thankful for our fans too. So not having them there means that we just have to, bring more energy than we usually do on the bench. And sometimes it can be hard, but I feel like our energy on the bench was okay for the most part. Um, great. Well, uh, Danny, I hey. guess uh, it's it pretty pretty close, uh, you know, I think heading into the, the last four minutes. Um, just kind of what do you think was the difference uh, specifically from, from that point on? You know, I, th I thought I thought Jabril was huge the last, you know, even six, seven minutes of the game. You know, I thought it seemed like they were making every shot. The only ones they didn't make were one he blocked. And, uh, you know, he has some huge blocks at the end of the game. And, and then our guys got some scramble rebounds. Um, you know, we took care of the ball. You know, I think he had a dunk down there. And, and uh, you know, we ran a play, and, and X made a great pass to uh, Almond, which I thought was kind of a backbreaker where he kind of cut to the rim and, and got a layup and made a really good play. You know, taking care of the ball, taking care of the ball. We made our free throws down the stretch. Um, I guess uh, I think it was com coming out of that under under four timeout. Uh, Jabril hit hit Mike for that three. Uh, how big of a difference maker was, do you think that, that play was? That was huge. It, it was huge because it was a broken play. I think we came out of a timeout. And we didn't run it correctly. And, you know, I wish I could take credit for that three. <laughs> that wasn't the play, but Jabril made a great pass, and, and Mike was tremendous tonight. You know, I thought his energy and his from, – from the second he checked the game, I thought he was the difference. You know, he came in and got two quick buckets right away, and we needed that because we were a little low on energy to start the game. Um, I guess, uh, you know, you, you've mentioned in the past that, you know, you need every, you know guys to step up. Um, you know, you never know when it might be their night. Um, just kind of – how big was that for him to, to step up even after, you know, maybe not playing as much, you know, the past, past few games? Yeah, I, I'm proud of him because he hasn't, he hasn't given in. I know it hasn't been easy for him adjusting from junior college to now. And I've, we've all challenged him a lot, you know, and, and gotten him out of his comfort zone. And for it, we know what type of player he is because he does that in practice. There's times in practice where he just takes over. But getting him to, you know, play a division one style, you know, playing defense every possession, getting back every time, doing those little things that win games. And he's really starting to come along and you can see that tonight. But you know, down the street, we're gonna need him to do that. Especially in games like this where it's kind of a chaotic style. You know, he's a guy that can really thrive in this. Um, I think I think you you mentioned the rebounding. Um, and I know that's something that you talked about, you know, during the non conference. Um, what does that say do you think about the growth that you're seeing from the team? In that way, I talk about that in the summer, the fall, the spring, the season, all the time because I know that's that's how you have to win games. And I don't I don't know for a fact, but we're probably the first team to out rebound them this year. You know, we rebounded them by two, and they're a team that's you know I think averages almost 14, 15 offensive rebounds a game, and uh, and that's why they're hard to guard. You know, they're hard to guard because they're so athletic and they get it. The game really starts like I told our team. The game starts when they shoot. It. Because once they shoot it, they got five guys crashing. 
And then it depends. Hey, if we win the rebounding thing, you win the game. Great. I think, I think those were all my questions. Awesome. Thanks. Bo, Bo do you have anything? Um, yeah, I was just curious. You had some, like, pretty impressive runs uh, kind of late in the in both halves. And I was just curious, like, what you think it is that, that you guys pick up so much momentum. I think uh, at one point it was uh, uh, eight points without, uh, without uh, Portland coming back at all. Yeah, I think we finished the half on a 12 to three run, which was huge, you know, to kind of get that lead going into halftime. Um, you know, and it was just executing, you know, and it was, it was time. when you play Portland State, it's going to be a game of runs. They're going to go on 6 0 runs. We're going to go on 8 0 runs. Now it's, it's who can kind of set the defense and kind of get multiple stops in a row is, is who wins those games. And it's easier said than done against Portland State because, like I said, they're such a great offensive rebounding team. When they get the offensive rebound, they're usually putting it back or getting fouled. And uh, I thought, I think in the second half, we only gave up five offensive rebounds, which is still five too many. But, you know, if we give up seven or eight, you know, it's a different outcome. And uh, I was just curious, uh, going into Saturday's game, if you have anything in mind that you're trying to change or improve or uh, play differently? Yeah, you know, we, we got to be more aggressive. You know, I thought our guys kind of came out on their heels a little bit, and I think they were – they were kind of shocked by Portland State's length and athleticism and aggressiveness. And we have to, we got to be the aggressors. You know, we're at home. We got to be more aggressive, you know, for that 40 minutes. Cause that's, that's when Portland State beats you. When, when they're, when they're aggressive, they're really hard to deal with. You got to match their aggressiveness. And we got to do that starting at noon on Saturday. Hmm.